The one good thing about fishing the pond is you can find out really quickly whether they're biting or not because you make four or five casts and if you get bit it's a good thing if you don't you know you might as well just hang it up come back another time yeah so let's try over here oh then you're going you get it in the right place oh. All right, so we're back home and working on the pond. Yes, come home and we work. On the come, pond. Yes, on the pond. Yeah. Uh, ha having a pond was something we thought would be really cool. Yeah. But we're finding out a pond is, like people say, a swimming pool. They're a lot of work, and uh, a pond is a lot of work. And right. we're still going to love it, and we're, we're going to trial and error, learn how to manage the pond. Well, when we moved... The prerequisite for me is we had to be on the water again, and I didn't care if it was a lake or a creek or a stream or a pond, but I wanted something that we could see water. And so we found this piece of property with this kind of disgusting. <laughs> it was disgusting little <laughs> pond when we got it, but we've cleaned He's, it up, made it look pretty. I mean, you can actually see. He's working on it water. all the time, and we are catching good fish. Yes, but uh, just not all the time. It's just not easy fishing. It's been a work in progress. I thought I had everything under control, and we leave for what three weeks, come home, and it looks like I've never right. worked on the pond. <laughs> right, because right before we left, Brent and I went out there, and he had some good fishing. I think we did a video on the frog fishing, and he, yep. um, and then what else were you catching him on? On a wacky worm. Yep, caught him on a wacky worm, and. Uh, so yeah, a couple weeks ago, we were catching really good on a wacky worm. Uh, the, you know, the frog was fun and a wacky worm and the fishing was great. And then we leave for a few weeks and the pond completely changes. Yeah, but that's all right. So we're gonna work on getting it back in tip top shape uh, because we do know when it is clear, the fishing is good on it. Yeah, it's a, the, the biggest thing is, the biggest hurdle is, is dealing with vegetation and uh, it's no different than any kind of property right. is you, you got to do what you got to do to control vegetation, and, and I've tried not to use chemicals on it. I put what you, what we're supposed to do, put grass carp in there, and... Uh, I don't think they did much. I think the grass <laughs> carp might become bow targets, is what I'm thinking. <laughs> I've heard that's fun. Because yeah. so far, all the grass carp like to do is eat all my fish food out of the fish feeder. Yeah, yeah. I have not seen them eating grass like they're supposed to. <laughs> I know it. I or if know they it. are, they're they're not doing a very a good very job. A very good job. So they're fired. Right. They better step it up in a hurry. So right. uh, we'll continue to treat it with chemicals and keep the vegetation under control. I know it's healthy though. There's a bazillion bluegill in there. We've done a great job stocking bluegill. I showed you how big the bass were in there and uh, we'd have to change fishing. The frog fishing was probably really good right now, but that's all you can throw in there is right. a frog. But uh, we'll continue to take care of it and uh, it's a work in progress, but uh, we've got plenty of structure and cover in there, and uh, we just got to get this vegetation under control. That's what you know. That's the fun part about pond fishing is you know very quickly whether it's going to be bad or good, so you don't waste a lot of time. But uh, it's fun when you come down here, saw a baby water snake, got a uh, painted turtle here, I'm guessing making a nest or laying some eggs, but uh, we've got a couple more casts to strategically place with the frog and Either we're gonna catch one or we're not. So let's see. Our muck is pretty mucky. A little mucky. The, the way the, the pond is set up right now, there's not a lot you can fish. You can basically throw a frog on the surface or you can throw like a wacky worm that lands in the holes and you fish the, the holes. Limited on what you can fish, but there's still some great fish and you can catch them on uh, on the worm and the frog. And that's what makes pond fishing so much fun. I think you like my frog. Yay! That was pretty cool. And he was right, right over, you can see my little white pipe. That was one of my little fish structures I made, but Yay. beautiful fish. Solid, probably four and a half pounder. All right, pond that's fishing exciting. worked again. Yes, yeah, so. That was fun. And one frog bite makes up for a lot of other bites. So that was well worth it. All right, come here, Mr. Bass. We need to get a tag for them. I want to tag these fish so we know uh, how many times we catch them. Anybody got a tagging system for us? Oh, 
There you go. So that's our pond right now. We're gonna keep you guys posted because it is gonna continue to be a work in progress. And there have been a lot of very good days on that pond already. Yes. There have been yeah. a lot oh, of oh, yeah. and, and not it's fun. good days. It, it's <laughs> fun having the pond, though, just for more than anything. Is If I'm rigging up rods and I want to go make a cast just to see how a bait's working or tune a bait, I can do that. Or if mm -hmm. I've got some new bait I want to play with, these fish I can uh, I can test on these new fish so, or mm -hmm. these fish we've got. So uh, it's fun having a pond. It's just a lot of work. That's right. So that's our pond this week. Next week, we're going to be in New York. So New York is going to be fun. Yeah. Hopefully, it's going to be a lot cooler in New nice York. Nice weather. It's become summer here in Kansas, <laughs> and uh, I'm ready to go up north. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I, I, I like some heat, but between Florida and here, I'm ready to go up north. Right. Fishing is going to be great, and uh, should be some fun tournaments. All right. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Take care. So the, the muck is pretty ugly. We'll get it taken care of. But I, what I really do like is uh, we've transplanted some water willows in here, brought those in last year. And you can see they're really coming up good this year. Everywhere I put one or two sprigs now, there's a whole family of water willows. And we've got some back here. So I'm hoping give those a year or two. And they're really going to be along the shoreline, which is great uh, habitat and cover for the uh, smaller fish. And uh, they're going to be shallow. But... And my dogs like it too. The so, dogs uh, like the pond too. You can tell it's really hot when the chihuahua is swimming in the pond. That never happens. <laughs> oh, she's going to look like a monster when she comes through the slime. Oh, man. So, yeah, so the pond is improving. Oh, Let's see if we can catch one over here. 